Hello everyone, we are back on site and carrying on wall framing. So we're on that side from the last video. So now we are going to carry on working our way down here. Well, that's another afternoon of framing done. We uh, got the skip this morning, so we filled that up with some stuff and then came in and started just repeating what we did on the other side. I haven't videoed too much of this because only so much anyone really cares about that. Uh, we got this centre wall down, <coughs> which uh, makes this room a lot bigger. So if it's, uh, to move that door. I guess that door is roughly where the, the line of that wall is going to be, but definitely makes a nice size room. So we've just got to copy what we've done here with a two by inch on this side, just a wee bit of extra building out around this dormer. I'm just trying to figure out because of the shape. It looks like it'll have to be a flat ceiling, but we don't have a lot of height here, so we're just trying to give as much height as we can because it might look a wee bit odd so we're just getting set up for building this new partition extending the bathroom you can see we're, it's quite a thin wall thinner wall than you would normally build now but just got to continue what's there we're going to make this wall a bit thicker though because it's going to have a toilet a uh, cistern probably hanging on it and a radiator on the other side and we're just going to run it into this wall but well, we're, we're going to strap this wall out first and then butt the partition into it. Otherwise, we have to do a lot of building in here and then we lose insulation in this area from full depth wang. So that is the plan here. It's a wee bit dark in here, we've got to bring lights, just for the belts, it's been covered, but <clears throat> we got, started our framing out here, I started a petition, haven't got this filled in yet because we need to sweeten out these rafters before we put in some dwangs for the, for this side of the petition, same over there, we took one out, ran that through, and then we're just get running our bottom runners all the way around just to get the shape for it all. It's a wee bit off the square so we're kind of having to compromise a wee bit, um, just especially with the rotten the ends of the floors, but we've cut back, <clears throat> tried to keep it to a minimum just where we hit some good good wood again because we want to keep the room as big as we can with it being a small house. It is absolutely lashing it down. It's not... Great day for the Vanessa show. I'm sure they'll be drying the beer tent up.
Hi right, guys, that's us done as much framing as we're going to do for now. Uh, there's probably maybe a full day for the two of us to finish. Once the windows are all in, just frame round them, frame round one, two, four windows and two roof lights to frame out. And then there's going to be a bulkhead either side of the, the hallway. It's probably from this ceiling tie. We'll just frame that in, same on the other side. And then chuck on some two inch battens. So yeah, a good day, maybe slightly more, but I would have hoped a long day would see us finished, all the framing ready for insulation. Uh, we're just, although time's getting on, we're probably going to have to rush for the ferry. So that's us for framing. Uh, so next, next job for us is we're going to probably, well, we might get that gable done. I'll see in the weather, but I think we're going to jump outside now, get the battens on the roof, ready for the roof sheets, which should be coming um, maybe end of the week, hopefully. So we'll get prepped for that. We're going to get the back side of the roof done first so we can drop the scaffold and get the kitchen roof formed. But before we form the kitchen roof, we'll jump back around the front and finish that. Um, just these dormers letting in a bit of water now. I think we just need to need to get it done. Luckily, the summer weather's so good. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that's us. I'm going to head off.